What is up YouTube, this is Josso360 back and today I'll be doing an unboxing and a review so this is going to be all in one because I'm not really going to feature the unboxing because I know it's not that great packaging but of the Casio Prism graphing calculator so this is one of Casio's flagship gra uh, graphing calculator models now I got this before high school and all the way up to uni so yeah uh, most likely if you're here I've noticed that there's not too many unboxing slash reviews of these there's ones with electronic programs but not with the actual calculator itself and hey you don't want to buy a calculator if you don't know what it is so I'll be doing that for you and we will cut this bad boy open so I bought this off eBay this time though Amazon because it wouldn't ship to Australia and that's kind of sad and we are opening this slowly okay oh come on so I'm sorry I haven't been uploading for a bit to all my usual subscribers, but there has been a shortage in video and there's also school. Anyway, here we go. There we have it. If Yeah, oh wait, so I can just check there's nothing else in the box. No, nothing. Done. So anyway, let's see, there we go. This is the Casio Prism or the FXCG10 model. Now, if there's a big confusion between the FXCG20 and all that. It's the same model, just in different time zones, or different uh, areas and all that. So anyway, this features a high resolution, it's not HD, but it's a high resolution LED display, so it's all color. This is one of the first actual color graphing calculators. That's what they mainly feature. And it can do a lot of like pre algebra, algebra, ge geometry, uh, trigonometry, calculus, matrices, and we'll see what happens in there. And yep, yeah, so it's a USB cable and it has a unit to unit cable, which I have no idea what that is at the moment. But they really do feature this color screen display with over 65 thousand colors of the display so anyway more like the Texas Instruments things but these are more simple now on the box you've got four triple A Panasonic batteries I wouldn't trust these they'll maybe last you for a few weeks but usually I like to go out and buy my own batteries so anyway as I said I won't feature the unboxing of this because I know it takes a while to unbox because it's all like shrink wrap or whatever it is so most likely I'll be editing this out and I'll get back to you when I have the calculator out and powered on and ready so thank you. Okay so we're back here and I've got the Cassia out of its plastic packaging with sticky tape and everything and I've already ran through the setup pretty basically pretty pretty basic setup it's just got like your language screen brightness and all this but there's what I ask you for what type of batteries you put in usually the one supplied alkaline if you were wondering and yeah so anyway in the box you get a heap of stuff now this is gonna be I think that's this little port up here I th it looks like a 2.5 millimeter jack and it goes to somewhere so I don't know I don't know if I'll be using that but I know definitely I'll be using this buddy this is micro USB to USB so what basically happens is that plugs into the top of the calculator here and you transfer data between this and your PC uh, you've also got your utility CD so this is your software drivers and everything to kind of keep your uh, calculator updated Whoever thought we will be saying this in the future? Keep your calculator updated with the software. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you just get a quick start guide. I don't, no one really watches those. And a warranty card. If that breaks. Yeah, whatever. At the back, you just got like a little demonstration. Now, to what you've all been here for. Now, as I said, if you're watching this, you are most likely looking between this very calculator, the FX CG10 or CG20, doesn't really matter. Or... Generally in Australia, our schools uh, recommend the Casio uh, FX980 AU Plus or 2. Uh, this is actually a step up. It's got a little bit more functionality and of course it's color screen which I'll show you in the moment. Now if you're in America, you may be looking at a Texas instrument and all that. I've got a few friends with, uh, it's the CAS one. Now we aren't really allowed CAS at school, which is why I'm not unboxing a class pad. So anyway. Uh, it's quite a thick model if I have a ruler anywhere not I don't okay so compared to an iPhone let's have a look so it is thicker than an iPhone which is kind of it's yeah it's probably half a centimeter thicker than an iPhone and it's a little bit weighty however it is not as big and as weighty as an FX 980 AU2 I know that it's a lot slimmer and it comes with this kind of transparent ish black Casio case with little rubber stoppers now this actually just comes out by pulling the top if I can get it out there we go just pull the top off and there we go 
And on the back here you've just got a restart button and your port for the batteries, so for triple A and again rubber stoppers and as I said on top you've got your micro USB, your 2.5mm jack and I believe that is for another model with an SD card which I don't think I got but I don't really, yeah okay so anyway to turn this bad boy on you press that button there and again I've already turned this guy on and as you can see there's your main menu now on uh, the other version of this, the 9, I'll just call it the 980 for now uh, it's all just like pixelated, no icons whatever but this is absolutely brilliant now you can scroll down using this little scroll wheel here now it's got this kind of fakish aluminium to it and it's all nice little kind of plastic rubberish same with all these buttons are really nice now you just got your sign cosentan up there, your log in and you and every single key has an alpha letter if you want to use it and you execute which is basically your equal sign so anyway back up so a look at this display now I know it's probably not the most amazing display you've ever seen in your life however it does a lot of uh, cool things now again I am not a uni student or like a high-end math student so I don't know how to use everything on this calculator but if you want to see what it does it does matrices statistics e activity spreadsheets so yeah uh, Excel type things graphing so if you want to do linear graph you've got diagraph which looks like parabolas you've got tables uh, no idea what that one is but you get the picture you can put equations program financial statistics and a lot more you that's how you link it to your PC and then you just got your system settings which we'll go into now now just mainly thing you got your display settings which you press F1 here so these are all the F buttons, normally options, and that just makes you probably select the light. So you can go really dark if you're working at night, or really bright if you just want to show it off. And so that's mainly it that I actually have to show you. Uh, I'm sorry that I don't know a lot of the calculator. However, we'll go into just normal stuff. So let's go into, this is just normal calculator. Let's go 96 times 8 equals that. What's my math homework at the moment? We've got 22 sine 65. So there we go. That's how you do it. Right there. And, if, and that's mainly it. Now stick around uh, I may have more kind of separate reviews for each one of these functionalities if you want to see a picture graph I don't know okay we'll go into it oh god yeah so there we go bit stubborn at the first and I don't know where I can find there we go I found it picture picture plot so this is actually a thing that they've showcased it for the Casio Prism now it comes with pre-loaded graphic images here so let's go into I don't know this random thing so it, le it actually allows you to plot the image or the angle of it and so you can see how well it looks under a picture and yeah so thanks very much guys for tuning in. If you would like some more information about this calculator, please don't uh, please feel free to leave something in the comments or message me. I should get back to you within one day or two days, depending if I'm busy or not. But thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a rating and maybe even subscribe and check out other videos of mine. And I will see you guys in the next video.